Hello everybody, it's going to be a Tauren, how to beat Jimmy the Great without taking damage. This is a flying level and at this point you can get the uh, bomb weapon, which I'd recommend getting as it's very useful in this fight. Uh, this has got five phases to it, with the first phase having three variations of attacks, which will go through each of them. The fight also always starts with a giant skull projectile, so make sure to position at the top of the bomb screen for that, uh, as that always happens, uh, so just be aware. Uh, so that one, so we'll blow in that case, otherwise you can do it above as well. Uh, first attack is these cats. Uh, they spawn four cats, two immediately, and then two more on the sides uh, as the like sarcophagus uh, like splits apart. Be aware that that when uh, when it positions itself on the left side of the screen, one of the side cats can spawn off screen as it does there on the left side. Uh, so just be aware that four cats will always spawn. Uh, so be aware of that left one can spawn off screen and will still return. Uh, that can be just keep that in mind always as that can be a really easy hit to get. Uh, other than that, uh, it, they follow you around the screen, so it's mainly just going up and down, avoiding using your small form to dash between. The gap between the middle two and the sides is a really good one to uh, uh, use your small form to dash between, to go up and down. Uh, but otherwise, just uh, leading them around the arena, and they're pretty uh, alright to deal with. Uh, parrying the purple ones uh, for the X stacks. Build up. Second phase is these pillars, where we destroy the face in order to go between the gaps. Um, you can either shoot with the missiles or the bombs do it in one, which can be uh, useful. I'd recommend when you're in the gap to go into the small form uh, so you can stay there for a little longer and make sure to go into the next gap uh, when it's safe to do so, when the circular saw is not near your position. And as well, it's also good if you like go into the, from the bottom and needs to go to the top, uh, the small form can be really good for the extra speed. Uh, this next one, um, he chucks these oscillating uh, projectiles, which go close, then far, then close, then far. Uh, when, they're in, when they're close together, you want to be going around them. When they're at the far, you can dash through them. Again, I'd always use a small form to do that, to go past them. Uh, you can use the missile, but I'd recommend using the uh, the bomb as it just makes it super simple and easier to avoid uh, the projectiles that he throws, as well as the bombs uh, kill the mobs that have spawned in one hit as well. So I'd recommend using the bombs uh, with that, sh that phase. Uh, next is the puppet phase, phase four. Um, this one I'd recommend, the hat's sort of the most dangerous part, so try and lead it away as far as possible. And then you can get close to the puppet as well when he does this attack. This way you don't have to deal with uh, the blue and purple projectiles, but just uh, be sure to uh, dash around and get out of the way from the hat. You don't want to be next to the puppet when the hat's close as well, as it gives you very limited space to work with. So here we're just getting more space, and then once he stops firing, get close. Again, small form is really useful in this fight with uh, so much going on um, in order to get the attacks in. If you're stuck in this position, the bombs again for damage. Uh, but then here, we're getting, getting away from the hat as much as possible. But yeah, It's all about trying to keep your distance from the hat. But even if uh, you've not, it's uh, quite uh, the hat only spawns three sets of uh, projectiles. So it's all right. In this final phase, um, I always have a nuke ready to do that um, to hit because then I can use the iframes to avoid that... Um, uh, that beam he just sends there. And then to avoid the pyramids, you want to be going into small form uh, to reduce your hitbox and be able to fit in the gaps as we did there. Uh, otherwise, just stay close to him and fire. Normally that uh, that final phase is very quick. If you stay near him with a nuke and just continuously attacking, I take my time a bit there to show a few of the uh, pyramid attacks, uh, but that phase is normally over really quickly with that nuke. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we'll go into the other two attacks. Um, uh, from the phase one, that can be um, that can be done as well. Handy thing with phase one is it's really easy to practice because as long as you don't do damage to uh, Jimmy, then you can continuously do that attack over and over again. Uh, he won't go into the second phase, so you can just practice this uh, attack over and over again, which is super handy when getting uh, getting used to this fight. But anyway, this uh, this attack is treasure. It uh, is like sending various amounts of treasure at you. It tracks your position, uh, so it follows you around the screen. Uh, but this is also where you want to use a small form to dash between the gaps, uh, hitting the purple gems for as a parryable to build up your X attacks. Uh, but other than that, it's pretty uh, pretty chill really. Uh, just use your small form to go in between the gaps. Uh, don't try and stay don't stay in one position. Move up and down the screen, um, and just keep keep attacking, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, if you're if you're above uh, at any point in the fight, it can be uh, handy to switch to the bombs uh, for that extra bit of damage. And then the third and last attack is the swords attack in this phase one. Again, in this uh, in these two variations we've shown, he always starts with that skull attack, so be aware of that. 
especially in the jewelry, what the treasure one, uh, as that can be uh, really tricky to avoid both the skull and the treasure. Uh, so be sure to um, stay in the bottom position or top position for that. Uh, preferably the bottom position with that treasure phase. But yeah, these swords, uh, they're pretty all right. Just when you're avoiding, you only want to be doing like small movements, so slightly up, slightly down or to the side to avoid. Um, the most dangerous part is when the fourth sword attacks because that's when the first sword of the next lot will appear. So you want to be aware of the first sword appearing of the next lot when the fourth sword attacks. So the fourth sword goes and the first sword has just spawned. That's the most dangerous part and be ready to avoid uh, when that happens. Other than that, you want to be just avoiding the swords when they attack you just through small movements. It doesn't have to be great, uh, like dashing around the screen or anything like that. You don't even need to use a small form really. Um, as that's the safest way. So that's Chimney the Great. There is a lot involved in that boss fight uh, with the many phases and different variations. So if there is any additional queries, then put in the comments below. Most live at Twitch at twitch.tv slash wayofloki. If there is any queries, I'd be happy to answer. Um, and if you enjoyed the video, got some value or interesting more Cuphead boss guides, then hit that subscribe button. And I shall see you in the next video.